Morning, Fab. Great Morning. to see you. Um, let's react to Wednesday, uh, especially after the, the highs of PSG. How difficult was that defeat to Dortmund to take? Yeah, very difficult. I mean, um, obviously, played home. Um, we knew the situation in our group, um, how difficult our group is, and obviously we wanted to, to get a result out, out of the game, but um, you see that level on this level is, is every game is so tough. So um, if you maybe not like on your very best, it's like difficult to win games, and I think that's that's what happened on Wednesday. When the group was drawn, we always knew it was it was going to be a very very tight group with the calibre of the teams involved. But how much so far has it shown that Newcastle are at a stage that the club can go toe to toe with these European giants? Yeah, I mean when when you see every game, I mean it was draw against Milan, very tight on Wednesday and one win as well. So we are able um, to compete against any team, uh, I think. But um, as I said, we need to be at, on, at our very best. If it's not, then it's not good enough. Um, just details at the end, which which maybe makes a difference. And 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 you have to be you have to be ready. Um, you have to be there in 90 minutes, and um, it's going to be the same in the next three games. How many points do you reckon get Newcastle qualified, Fab? Is it, is it something you've looked at or not? Um, not really looked at. I think I don't know. 10, 11 is normal the, the case, I think, but. Um, it's too far to, to look at that and I think we, we're going to focus just game by game. Um, obviously, next game is going to be uh, away in Dortmund, but it's also too far away. I think we, we just focus on, on our next game against Wolves. It was a difficult <coughs> night on the pitch, but difficult night for injuries as well, losing Alex and, and Jacob. How big a test is this now for the squad, given this injury list that just seems to be mounting with every single game? Yeah, I think this is um, always going to happen when you have so many games and obviously it was very unf unfortunate for us. Um, big players are missing, um, but um, yeah, games are coming quick, so we need the whole squ squad. Um, I think that's what we always knew at the start of the season, so um, I'm very confident in, in, in our team, in the quality we have um, in the squad and I think um, as you see now, like if you have a few injuries, um, everyone is so important and it's just um, the same over the, the next months. Given the injuries, are you wrapping yourself up in cotton wool? Are you trying to keep out <laughs> any problems or not? Oh, it's just quite cold in here now, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> just try everything to be ready. Yeah? Obviously, uh, the news breaking as well uh, about Sandra. I just wondered, I'm only going to ask you one about it because it's something completely separate, but how has he been? Have you managed to talk to him or not? Because it's, it's a very, very difficult period for him as, as a 23-year-old man, let alone a footballer. Yeah, I think it's very tough. Um, for us, I think we just can help him as a teammate. I, I think he's a brilliant lad. Um, he settled in very well. I think it was was difficult anyway with like language barrier and, and stuff like this. But uh, he tried everything, um, to settle in quickly, and and um, I think everyone in the t in the team like uh, really really likes him. And, and and obviously now he needs our support, and this is just what what we're here for. It's injuries, obviously, that's led to a different defensive partner for you as well, but it's a very, very familiar, familiar defensive partner in Jamal as well. What's it like being kind of slotting back into that partnership with Jamal at the heart of Newcastle's defence after so long? Well, I think he's been great, to be fair. Um, I mean, it wasn't easy for him to come in probably in the team and then uh, perform on, on this level, but um, I have to say he's, he's done brilliant. Yeah. Um, also before, um, he's, he's so good um, in the dressing room as well. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased for him as well. Like, he's doing well and um, as a team, just, just keep going now, yeah. When you were partners at the back and you were in those kind of relegation battles with Newcastle United, did you ever think that you'd be turning out as central defensive partners against the likes of PSG, against the likes of Dortmund as well? Probably not at that time, to be fair, <laughs> but um, obviously I think we both quite enjoy it now, um, being on this level and playing Champions League um, on that stage. Um, I mean, we, we've, seen, we've seen everything like how, how, how it could be or how, how it was a few yeah. years ago, so um, for us, I think it's, it's really special, yeah.
And for you, I'll, I'll keep my voice down because the gaffer is just across the way, but he was very, very complimentary in his press conference the other week about you. He was talking about you saying that you're the type of player that can produce moments to take anyone's breath away. How do you feel about your form at the moment? And uh, to steal something that Jacob Murphy said about trips, do you feel like you're ageing like a fine wine at the minute as a player? Well, I don't really like to speak about myself, so I don't... Well, other people can, can talk. Um, I just try to, to do my best and obviously, uh, since I, I said this a, lot, uh, a, lot, a few times since, since obviously the gaffer walked in, uh, uh, I grew with, uh, with, with all, all the games and, and obviously the, the team doing well um, and I just be just being a part of it and obviously um, I think I've I had a few, few good games, a few yeah. good months and I'm just, just happy to be part of it and just try to leave everything on the pitch every game and um, yeah, it's just what I do. He was specifically referring, of course, to that goal against PSG. Where did that moment, where did that night rank in the career of, of Fabian Cher, would you say? Yeah, pretty high, to be fair. Um, just everything like um, for, for the club, who I love so much, you know, being in this competition, scoring a goal uh, on this level, and, and obviously all the emotion came back as well, like where, where you've been with the club, where you've been now, and, and also for me personally, I had tough times, and now being uh, on this high for, for that moment, um, I was really, really happy. I was just enjoying the moment, and yeah, it was uh, pretty, pretty high rank for myself. It's a goal that many Newcastle fans kind of look at and say it's going to go down in history. It's like one of those Philippe Albert moments. It's like one of those Andrew O'Brien moments in the Champions League. How does that kind of make you feel, the fact that that goal could well be replayed for the next 60, 70 years in Newcastle's history? Well, I hope so. So <laughs> It's good to hear. I mean, to be fair, I've watched it a few times as well. So <laughs> I'm not scoring a lot of goals. So um, And then these kind of goals is, is obviously very special but at the end um, it's just a goal like everyone else, uh, every else so yeah. The Champions League is going quite well but the Premier League going superbly, the momentum firmly behind Newcastle. How do you feel like the side's form has turned around in recent weeks in the Premier League? Yeah I mean we had a difficult start with a few um, losses um, against good teams yeah. and um, we knew obviously that we are still performing well, we were a bit unlucky and we had to turn the moment, momentum around and I think this is, um, this is what happened and um, the, the last few weeks have been really good in the Premier League but um, yeah, we have to keep the momentum so I don't think about what, what was the last few games, I'm just looking for the next game and obviously I, I want to win the games and, 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 and stay in a good position. And that, of course, leads us into Wolves this weekend. What, what sort of test do you think that you should be expecting from Wolves away after a, a, another three-game week? Yeah, it's going to be very tough away from home, especially. Um, I think I've seen them um, a few times. Uh, um, I think they're real threat, they're doing yeah. really well. Um, very good players, individual and... and, and, and very dangerous team, um, so special after mid midweek games it's going to be difficult, but um, I think like every, every game in the Premier League, so we have to be focused uh, and 100% ready and then go again, yeah.